Well, howdy, everybody. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. If you're new here, my whole deal is I'm building a house that I think will last a thousand years. And uh, an easy decision for a thousand years is steel, right? Especially stainless steel. That'll be here after all of humanity's done. People will be finding stainless steel in the ground. But uh, there is a lot that goes into making a thousand year house that's boring. And that nobody sees. Everybody likes the, the walls and the painting and the decorating and all of that. Swooping in all of that. But today I'm doing a job that's just pure tough and kind of boring. I don't know how much of it. It does not translate. So all of these rafters, uh, posts that I made and rafters, they all need to be attached. And the way I do that is I physically drill right through the conex. Not on the roof. I don't want leaks. But I physically drill through the conex and uh, attach them with uh, lag bolts so that all of that framing is, is attached. And then I can hang drywall on it. I can drill through it. But, uh, oh my gosh, drilling through Core 10 steel, boring. And it uh, takes me all, all day long to... To get it done. I have quite a few of these to do because I've been putting it off. So, uh, But anyway, uh, big thick cedar post. So we know there's uh, temples around the world and that are well over a thousand years that have cedar and ancient constructs. Uh, almost anything in Egypt that's made of wood that's still existing from 5,000 years ago is made of cedar. So cedar's a good bet. So the conix is a good bet. Uh, there's all these things that are good bet. But Man, I'll tell you, that uh, that work um, is tough. So anyway, I'm going to put, so I know I'm going to do stop motion on this. I'll drill as many holes as my uh, drills and, and uh, can handle. They'll overheat, and then I'll have to take a break and go do something else. But I'll see how far I could get. It's earlier in the morning, so I'm hoping it stays cool enough that I can, uh, you know, drill for a while. We'll see. It's boring to me. I don't like it either. All right, let me set you up outside, get my tools set up, get my ladder, yada, yada, yada. Uh, all that good stuff. You can watch me in stop motion. I'll pick a song. Oh, while I'm, do while I'm doing that, why don't you all like and subscribe? I've got uh, oh, 300,000 views, and I've only got 1,000 subscribers. So something's wrong with my personality. But you're stuck with it. So ride along. Ride along with the strange little personality. I don't know. Maybe I might give you a little joy in the morning. Who knows? I put these out at 4.15 in the morning for the morning people. I'm not going to bed sometimes until 5. And I stay up. I'm a night person. But I do this for the morning people. See? Spreading the love. In the stop motion, if you watch it, uh, it goes real fast, right? Real fast. And there's a little music I usually put on there. So occasionally I'll narrate it. But uh, the music, uh, I think, makes people like zone out perhaps and just blow right through. And so let me take a moment here and talk about these um, blind fasteners I'm putting through on these posts. So you see they're a lot of work and uh, it is very boring. It's very boring and tedious work. And that's the kind of work that has to get done, but it's just awful, right? So, uh, you know, I drilled all four or five holes and then I put in a, a lag bolt usually, sometimes stainless steel. Uh, again, I don't, there's not like a lot of lateral torque on these things as long as the post is set there as i'm bringing them in and i'll, I'll do a close-up on this you can see that the uh, the one on the bottom uh when i get all the way down to the top that it's sticking out and the the walls are all banged up and bent and as i pull those posts in it's pulling that wall straight 
Uh, so I'm hoping as I put earth bag on the outside and tamp the earth bag that I don't at right bow in the uh, thing and it would if I didn't have these posts in here but using blind faceters uh, I if you see I disappear all the time like where's Steve he's not in frame what I'm doing is I'm coming in here and I'm checking the faceter the especially the first one making sure that I hit the post and that the post didn't fall over uh, from the wind and uh, I found a problem so we're gonna revisit this problem so, uh, you know, I'm glad I found it now before a bunch of rework. So, all right, a couple of things that's happened here I can see. As I'm working my way up the post, it's straightening the post, right? And what's happening is wherever I had put the rafter is now walking off. See, now these, po these, these are a little bit bigger than that, but you'll see that it walked off ever so slightly and this one's worse it's it's walked off but the end result is that it's pulling it way off of the uh 2x6 so see that notch uh, you know i don't want that so what i'm going to do is go on the outside change my uh my build to the ones that are on the 6x6 so that they're drawn in and then when I tighten on that end it won't pull the joist off of the 6x6 six six and make a huge gap plus uh, I'm crooked over here now I only have to fix one two <laughs> right and it's, it's not like six months later that I'm noticing it uh, uh, one two three I have to fix three this one's not too bad but uh, so I'll get in there and I'll I'll tighten them up on the uh, on the uh, wedge where the bird's mouth is. And I'll, I'll do this window as well. So I'm gonna change directions. I was worried about the heat of the day anyway. So I was gonna do these this evening, but I could see I need to do them now. So uh, I'll take a few minutes doing that, so. Blind fasteners are great, but they are blind, right? And so, uh, let me open the out here. So uh, they are blind, so you, you gotta double check them. And then the double check in here, I found that I have failed. So I'm gonna shift around to the hot, hot sun and I'll work on that side. Uh, I, I'm not gonna stop motion that because uh, to be blunt, it's very boring and tedious work and um, I wanna get out of the sun as fast as possible. So I'm just gonna work. All right, I'll catch up to you in a little bit. All right, almost all done with the post over the, the windows. So notice that gap in the bird's mouth is all closed up. There's no gap there anymore. They all look pretty good. This is the last one. I figured I would do a little bit of video work on it. So I'm clamping it in position. Now, how do I know it's straight? Well, let me zoom out. If you take a look at the ceiling, all I'm doing is following the indent in the ceiling visually and going all the way down. Oh, it's not too bad. So I guess I can go outside and show you me drilling it. So uh, I'm doing my county thing here. Oh, there's the post, All right? Let me zoom out a little bit. This thing zooms in when it wants to. All right, so there's the post. So then there's a indent in, indent out, indent in. So I know that it's the indent in because I can go up and see where the post is. So let's do that. I'll set you up outside. I'll do it real time. How about that? So you could see me uh, edit out cussing and swearing. <laughs> what is that true story? All right. So now I'm going to have to get back up there and uh, redo all of that. <clears throat> do you guys remember? In out, in out. Which one was rot? What? I don't remember. I don't remember. Already forgotten. All right. Just gonna have to go up there and take a stab at it. Oh, I remember internet. I'm just funning you. I quizzed you. I quizzed you. All right. Remember the post? In out. It should be right there. That is where I'm expecting the post to be. I could peek in the window here and see, but it's real hard with the sun out all the way. Yeah. 
look at that one that one's too short that's the one that I think it is well, that's the one we're gonna be now am I off occasionally internet well yes sir <laughs> yeah, yeah yes sir I certainly am I certainly am oh and these drill bits get uh, get worn out I'm not sharpening them I don't have time for that I get rid of them and get a new one all right what did we guess internet right here let's find out see if I I missed that makes me happy when I miss I'll tell you Woo! excited it's, it's so easy to drill through Corten steel you still there internet old Hanks watching me so somebody's got my back nobody else is watching old Hanks watching Oh, womp, womp. Oh, I could just, that's so special. I could just, uh, hurrah, hurrah. In case you're wondering, internet, I missed. <laughs> I missed. That's special. That happens sometimes. Let's see by how much. I missed that much so that's the beauty of a Santa Fe mission style I just simply backed it out with my fingers and shifted the thing over a quarter inch and then I'll run it in an angle fit nobody will notice in a million years nobody will notice a quarter inch per eight foot hmm not happening nobody will notice that but I will because I won't be exhausted standing on top of a ladder. So let me go run that in crooked. Oh, bonus, I forgot to put the clamp on that'll hold it tight. That's, that's exciting. Now somebody might say, Steve, you're not doing that like stick built house. It doesn't have the right number of screws for hurricane and whatnot. Are y'all kidding me? If no, don't put that down in the comment. This is core 10 steel that I'm attaching cedar four by four poles that will have like nine tons structural support with four lag bolts down that and it's got grooves, either any grooves or outer grooves, but one way or another, it's grabbing that, that 4x4 and it's going to pinch it one way or another in there. Uh, and I know that the boards will come in and out on that. Again, all is part of the vibe. This is strong. Let me tell you. This is, uh, I don't know about Hurricane Strong, but these are 8, 000, what, 87,000 pounds all by themselves of steel. So I'm not putting a steel strap on. I am the steel strap. The cedar is what's going on. And, and trust me, once the weight of the load of uh, the uh, cement gets on there, it'll bind all that up. And this thing, it's not going to crack. It's not going to split. It's not going to do anything but sit here for a thousand years or more if somebody maintains it. I don't know where humanity's heading, but as long as this thing is above the water and not... Uh, 65 feet below sea level 
it'll be here. So some, some part of it will be here or not. All right, let me go in, double check the work there, and then go around to the other side and start doing those. So uh, I didn't want the bird's mouth to be messed up. So I'm going in and going to do an inspection. You all want to join me? Sure, let's join me. Uh, we'll all walk in together. We'll walk in together. I'm lonely. You're watching me. You're probably lonely too. All right. Oh. That's the one that I drew up right there, right, right there. That looks darn tight from here, doesn't it? Darn tight. All right. Well then, uh, if you look, all my screws go through there. Pulled it up. Man, that bird's mouth looks good. That looks good. Let me go ahead and do this one while I'm here. Might as well. Finish them all out here. So that was a any Audi, any Audi. So this one will be, that will be an Audi. I'll just keep working in the hot sun. Oh, and if you're wondering if that quarter inch is noticeable, well, there you go. Look at it. I don't know. I don't see. I don't even see it. Don't even see it. When I drop drywall in there, I'll. I gotta cut them down anyway. That's not a four foot section, so I'll just cut a little taper in. But that, hey, that is where I'll pull some tape measure. Y'all wonder where I'll pull tape measures? That's where I'll pull tape measures, right there. Where I measure the crookedness of drywall. I'll cut it out here, put it on a, a drywall lift, go in there and burr, crank it up, drill it in, call it a day. So that's that's where I'll do that. All right, I'm gonna leave you in the sun in the shade in the shade. I'm gonna put you back on stop motion. This will probably be another end of the amazing adventure, amazing adventure of drilling in lag bolts. <laughs> woo, 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 fun. Everybody ought to do this. One man, all alone. Out in the middle of Texas, nobody loves them. Old Hank, you love me? Hold on a second. Nobody loves me but old Hank, all alone. And he is he doesn't have opposable thumbs. He can't help me drill in. Hank, can you help me drill in any lag bolts? Nay, see? Nay, he said. I heard it with myself. All alone. Where are you? Where are you, Internet? Where are you? Is it, uh, stop looking at my horse. To drill. Let's see. Look at these slag bolts. Let's drill out. Come on out. Yeah. Ah, can you see? All right. That's what I'm putting in. All righty. Let me put you back on stop motion. Well, as the fates would have it, the battery is conking out on the mic. I don't even know if you can hear me. But I'm all done with the sun side, uh, with the lag bolts and the joists, uh, rafters. So I'm hungry, I'm gonna go take a late lunch, run into town, clean up, do all that. Last thing I have to do is just go up top and caulk the uh, lag nuts so they don't leak. Uh, eventually, like I said, it'll have earth bags all around it, so I'm expecting that it'll be a watertight uh, environment. But in the meantime, I am double, quadruple, triple, whatever it takes. I'm going to get uh, a flex seal and spray that when I'm done, uh, just to be triple sure. <laughs> I don't want to leak it. All right. Let's see.
right, internet. I'll catch up to you later. Whew, look at that, I get all done. And the sun goes behind a cloud. <laughs> anyway, gonna wash up, get this done. I hope that mic's working. Need a nine volt battery. Thank you. Oh, like, subscribe, follow me along. This is probably a, a 30 minute video or so. Uh, appreciate y'all very much. Like I say, I'm all alone. Nobody's, uh, I gotta stop. I need a new shtick. I'll think of one.